first day today, got a bit of those first day nerves. When you want to get in the water, see that it's blue, a lot of fish life. Whew, excited. Spear Junkies is a team of select spear fishermen from around the world. Their goal? To target 12 pre-selected fish species over a certain weight. To achieve this, our team will travel the globe, each destination offering up its own challenging target species. My name is Chris Dillon. I'm from Cape Town in South Africa, and I'm a passionate spearer. Spear junkie Johan Potkieter of South Africa heads down to 90 feet on a single breath. When diving on breath hold, these experienced spear fishermen always dive with a buddy. The threat of shallow water blackout not to be taken lightly. However, the adrenaline appeal of this sport far outweighs the potential danger. No trip to Madagascar would be complete without the team encountering some of the wonderfully unique animals that call this island paradise their home. Everyone's coming. Hey, Pong's a bit. Didn't have a shower this morning. Hey. <laughs> he grabbed the whole banana. Do not touch our defeat. So we're coming to the end of our trip to Madagascar. We're here at Lima Land today. That was a real treat for us on our last day. We fly home tonight, and it's with a certain amount of sadness every trip ends. But uh, in Spear Junkies, we obviously have the goal of trying to get as many ticks as possible on the back of our t-shirts. Uh, we understand that the ticks are just part of it. You know, what is really important is being with good friends, yeah, true. And the journey along the way. So, yeah, we feel very privileged to have had this Madagascar experience. Mm. And, uh, yeah, uh, I managed to get three ticks, which really exceeded my wildest expectations. I got a 53-kilogram dog tooth tuna, a 31-kilogram sailfish, and a 27-kilogram GT, or giant trevelli. So, I mean, those are just uh, fish of a lifetime, three of them. So, And uh, well we're fortunate enough for Potty to get his tick on the sailfish. So, well done, Potty. Thanks, Chris. Yeah. Well, mate. Thanks, now. And now <laughs> to you. Although he didn't manage to get that tick, he did manage to put a spear into a really large doggy, yeah. over 60 kilograms. We fought it for quite a while. It really pulled all the floats under. Yeah. Had a massive struggle, but you know, the fish just wasn't yours. So maybe yeah. next year. But uh, this trip couldn't have been possible if it wasn't for Chris Coates. Well, we call him Coatesman. Well done, Coatesman. <laughs> Probably the best spear fishing guide That's in the it. world. And it taught us so much. So, yeah, Chris, thanks for sharing your backyard with us. And uh, it was absolute really pleasure. brilliant. Uh, so thanks, mate. Yep. Well done. Eh? It's, it's been an job. absolute pleasure having you guys. Yeah. I can't wait for Thank more you. adventures. Woo!